What is going on, everyone? Happy Wednesday, September 6th, 2023. Got some red coming in today. Dow futures down 48, NASDAQ futures down 37, S&P futures down 8 and 3 quarters. VIX is up about 1 and 3 quarters. So not, not a very good start here. We'll have to see what happens. But uh, yesterday, I, I, after the live stream, I kind of took a look at uh, oh, a lot of the stocks I trade and, and tried to find some new ones because uh, a lot of ones we used to trade were uh, we just don't trade anymore because they've gotten so small. So uh, first page I got here, nothing really changed. There's main stocks. Second page, uh, threw in McDonald's. Um, threw in Costco. Okay, so, you know, I think I got rid of like Peloton and DKNG there. Um, and then threw in Marriott, M-A-R, Marriott. And what else? Uh, MasterCard and Lulu and Home Depot and Lowe's. So just some new, some fresh blood, I guess. Um, and so if if I trade these new stocks I put on here, um, I probably would go a little smaller just because I haven't day traded them before. And so, um, you know, I was looking at like their option prices yesterday. I was kind of looking at their volume. And, you know, everything seemed to be similar to a lot of the stocks I trade and, or, or that we trade here. Um, and like I said, I got rid of just stocks that were about 25 bucks and under that I had on my board. Uh, then I rearranged my Thinkorswim. So as you can see, I've got four pages. You can see the tabs in Orion here. And then for my Thinkorswim, I basically have four watch lists here, and those all coincide so with my four pages in Orion. So when I go to trade, I can just easily find the stock I'm going to trade. You know, if it's Roblox, click on it there, and then go to the trade tab. So I did a little reorganizing yesterday. Bell has rung. So, uh, indices starting out in the red. Um, so, anyway, I'm, I'm kind of excited just to kind of watch some of these stocks and see, like, you know, type of volume they produce, type of price movement. But uh, like I said, I, I probably would, uh, you know, probably max out at like 15, 1600 buying power. If I got into some of these these new stocks I've got on the board just until I can see kind of um, how they play out in terms of volume, price movement, and see if they follow our rules. <laughs> Roku's up 12%. Wow. So Roku spiked up this morning. I just noticed that. What is going on with Roku? to see if I can figure out what's going on with Roku. Wow. 
The streaming stock jumped 12.5% after announcing plans to lay off 10% of its staff. Roku also lifted its third quarter revenue guidance, saying it now expects revenue to range between 835 and 875 million. So they're expecting higher revenue. Roku said it plans to consolidate office space and review its content slate to trim expenses. So trimming expenses and higher than predicted revenue. Interesting. And Roku up to $92, man. It's almost doubled in the last couple of months here. Remember when it was down close to 50. Have, have not uh, seen any chat, so hopefully you guys are hearing me loud and clear. Most everything in the red. Home Depot, barely green. Marriott, barely green. Meta barely green, Netflix barely green, and then Roku up uh, 12%. VIX up uh, 2%. If you just joined us, uh, when I started the live stream, I Told everybody how I put in a, a handful of uh, new stocks on my board. I think, I think seven, actually, to be exact. So, um, so got rid of some of the smaller stocks that we just don't trade anymore. Our second bar here. So yeah, I'm really, really interested interested to see like some of these new stocks and just see what they, they do in terms of volume. And if you know, give it a couple of weeks, and if it if they don't don't look like they're giving us much volume, then I'll just uh, take them off. I also don't like it when like you know the volume is so small you can't really see it, and you got to make it wider. I'm not sure how to fix that. Roku's shooting up, up over 14%. <clears throat> Baba, getting a potential upside volume runner. It's uh, about halfway there as we're halfway through. Baidu getting a big volume bar too to see if it stays red or if it goes green. Cool. 
So Baidu really pushed up there. Now it's green. So it looks like Baba and Baidu are going to get upside volume runners. Today we trade the two days to expiration option chain to DTE. So look for a pullback in Baba or Baidu. Tesla coming down. It's got about a minute left. Wow. Nice push up and bought by Baba. So Baba there. Baidu is there. Uh, gotta see a pullback. Marriott and volume bars just needs to be higher so I can see it. So Tesla did not get there. Came close, but did not get there. Baidu? Thought it was going to pull back there a little bit, but... Baba, man, pulling back just a little bit. Baba, I would trade the 95 calls. Oh, man, popped right up. I'm going to give it a second here. I don't want to get a really bad fill. It's coming down a little bit. Let's see if I can get filled at a buck forty. Ah, might have missed it. Man, look at Baidu. Really, really pushed up. <laughs> Not sure what's going on. I'm trying to adjust here. Filled at a buck forty-three. And Baba. I was just adjusting a penny at a time until I got in. And Baidu really pushed up. It's already getting another big bar as well. I would close half of my Baba at a buck sixty. Jeez, look at Baidu. Wow. Let's hope Baba does that. Baidu could have got in like right away, but man, you'd have been quick.
Probably not quite pushing like Baidu is. Don't see any mighty 90s setting up right now. Baba and Baidu both have big volume bars again. I remember when Baba used to be bigger than Baidu in terms of price. Much as they've pushed up, they're only up about half a percent. Baidu's up half a percent, Baba about one percent. Man, and Baidu would have been amazing though. Goog getting a potential mighty ninety short. Left here, Goog. So Goog, I would trade the for a mighty ninety one thirty eight puts. Filled at a buck fifty. Jumped in, just almost into this bar, so I just jumped in. Always add to Goog as well. Probably no push up yet. I would add to my Goog if it gets down to about one thirty-five dollar thirty-five. Yeah, I would close half my Goog at a dollar sixty-five. <clears throat> Yeah, it should be close to getting filled in Baba. I'm going to get out of half my Baba here. Ah. Come on, tick up, tick up. So I was really close there.
Build it a buck fifty nine to get out of half of Baba. So I adjusted a penny. Another big volume bar from Baba too, man. Wow. Looking for two red bars out of Goog. Apple coming down. AMD is a little mighty 90 long. Although it's a really tight range. I don't like this tight, a tight range like that. And some of these new stocks, man, you just can't see the volume. For some reason, it's just so tiny. There we go. NVIDIA getting a big volume bar to the downside here. And so is Tesla. Wow. Kind of wish Google would be coming down with them. Nothing but big bars for Baba and Baidu. So we'll see if we get a little bounce out of NVIDIA or Tesla. NVIDIA is bouncing a little bit. NVIDIA, I would trade the 480 puts. 480 puts. See if it fills me at six bucks. Microsoft popping up. That's interesting. Build at six bucks in NVIDIA. That's the 480 put. And good really popped up. Oh, the movie. So Goog, I'm going to add to my Goog. Same 138 put. Filled at 123. Bob, I'm not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. So some interesting price action here, for sure.
He definitely could have got a way better fill in NVIDIA than me. And Baidu ripping up still. Tesla, it's having trouble. Tesla, I'm going to go short Tesla here. Another volume runner. 250 puts. Build at 420. So it's just, it's some of these have pushed up quite a bit and it's just really struggled. Google, I'm waiting for two red bars consecutive. So I'm in three, I'm in three uh, trades that are all going in the same direction. So I'm not going to add, I wouldn't add another short. That's kind of my, one of my risk management rules. I would close half my Tesla at 465 to close half of Tesla. Video is sitting about where I entered, so it kind of stinks. Baba not going anywhere. Trying to break through highs. Apple down to lows, Amazon through highs, a little two way action going on today. <clears throat> really need Goog to come down. What is this market going to do? Those half my NVIDIA, it's, I have an order in it, uh, 660, and then they got filled. I think I might have forgot to mention that. So like, you know, how if you're new, how I do my my fills at 10%. So that was six bucks got filled. 10%, easy math, 660. <clears throat>
really need Goog to turn around and come back down. Square trying to go through highs of day. I would close another uh, NVIDIA at 720. Apple through lows of day. Build at 720 to get rid of another NVIDIA. So I got one NVIDIA left. Man, I haven't had anybody in the chat. You guys, hopefully, someone someone post something so I know that uh, y'all are hearing me. Anybody? Somebody in the day trading chat has got to be listening. NVIDIA getting another big bar. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Jim. Tesla popping back up. What are you doing? Uh, Goog. So in Goog, where I, where I added to Goog, uh, I need to close out half here. Filled it a buck 62 to close half of my Goog. Oh man, it's a nice little drop. I'm kind of letting Nvidia run down. What's Baba doing? Baba's still kind of hanging on. So um, in Goog, I'll get out of my last Goog here when it uh, this bar closes. I'm looking for two consecutive red bars. NVIDIA, I'm just kind of letting that run down right now. It's a downside runner, and I got a big bar, so I'll try to get as much out of that as I can. I'm going to close my Baba. Build it a buck thirty to close Baba. So I gave some back there in Baba. Close another Goog. Build it a dollar eighty. Ooh, Tesla coming down. You check it and try to get out of another here in Tesla. Filled at 535 to close another Tesla. We got two Teslas left. And NVIDIA getting another big volume bar. Wow. Oh, Goog. Tell you what, it's a beautiful thing when you're caught in a, uh, a flush and you got three three shorts on. Build it a buck ninety to close another Goog. I just have a lot of Goog contracts because I added to it, and there was only a buck fifty and then a buck twenty three to add. Wow. So I might leave some. Yeah, 
Goog, I may just close it. It looks like it might be getting a, getting a mighty 90 long. So I'll probably close Goog, even though I've got still got a ton of contracts. NVIDIA, I'm going to go ahead and close my final contract. It's just one. If I had more, I'd definitely leave some on. Build at 1015 in NVIDIA. Wow. A monster. Yeah, good out in Baba. <clears throat> Disney pushing highs, Walmart pushing highs, Marriott pushing highs. JPM getting a mighty 90 short. Coming up to a pivot. JPM, I would trade the 146 puts. Build it a buck 20 in JPM. Mighty 90 short. You definitely can get a better fill than me. It's the 146 puts. Tesla, going to get out of another Tesla. Filled at six bucks. Got one Tesla left. Okay, so Goog. I'm going to go ahead and close my Goog. Got two bars. I'm just going to take profits. Filled it a buck ninety six. Wow, what a reversal! What a mighty ninety that was, and it could still come down. Who knows? But wow, JPM really popped back up through that pivot higher than I wanted it to. So I've got one Tesla left and JPM left. Man, big volume bars to the downside. NASDAQ really flush there. Uh, Mighty 90 long in Netflix, but man, I don't think I'm going to get long anything right now. Tesla, I'm going to watch it here. I don't want to live through any bounce whatsoever here. Wow. I could have left some on in Goog. It's really flushing. Wow. I just didn't want to be greedy. I'm going to go ahead and close my last Tesla out. At, let's say 650. Wow. Goog would have been just amazing if I left some on. Mighty 90 long in meta. We're getting some, we're getting some long setups here. Wow, McDonald's really pushing up. Roku has just been coming down since its initial push up. See, Goog, Goog was getting a mighty 90 setup long. That's why I got out of all my contracts.
Now it looks like NVIDIA is going to get a big volume bar. Tesla maybe too. Wow, what a reversal. Apple, big volume bar. Man, lots of opportunities today. Amazon had a mighty 92 that would have been a, a, a beautiful mighty 90 short. Marriott pushing through highs. Yeah, yesterday Marriott's volume was bigger. That's really surprising. It's so, so small. You may not be able to trade that one. So Mighty 90 and JPM, I'm looking for two red bars. Go to Coinbase. That fell off. Thanks, Mike. Just a sense of comfort knowing you, everybody's hearing me loud and clear. It's one less, I just one less thing I have to worry about as I'm live streaming. What a beautiful ad that was in Goog. Okay, so Tesla if it breaks through the pivot. I'll probably just cut it and give it a little bit back here. There is a lot of mighty 90 long setups going on right now. Meta's got one. And Apple still another big volume bar, though. Damn. How weak is this going to get, folks? Times like these where I used to get really greedy and try to keep keep um, profiting from the, the big push. But then I would get reversals and my big green days would go to uh, small green days because I get a little greedy. So I'm not just necessarily going to jump in another short here on a little bounce like some of these are having. Um, although, like... You know, Apple, it's a pretty good setup there to continue short. You still want to play the, you know, play your play your rules. Yeah, JPM is just not, it's a good Mighty 90 setup, but if JPM... Let's see where it's at. It gets to like oh buck oh five. I'll add to it. <laughs> wow, Goog. Unreal. Where had this mighty 90 up to the pivot? That would have been a great one. Yeah. I mean, I had a lot of contracts on in Goog because I added to it. So I could have definitely left some on, but... I think I was so happy to get this big flush that I just wanted to take the profits. See, so yeah, Apple, man. Mm. A little bit juicy. NVIDIA and Tesla kind of mirroring each other. And the volume isn't very high in some of these new ones. Am 
Microsoft pushing through lows. Apple, good man. What what are the good puts at that I was in the one thirty eights? Holy cow, two thirty two thirty four. That could that, that could have been a four figure a four figure winner for sure. Roku only up 8% now. Man, some of these stocks pushing lows, but Tesla, not one of them, even though Tesla's one of the weakest on the board. I still like this mighty 90 signal that JPM gave us. Amazing, amazing Goog. So JPM not really doing what I want it to do. So I'm going to add to my JPM. I can get in at a buck oh five, I'll get in at a buck oh five in JPM. Tesla. A little three bar bounce here might be a time to get short again. Darn it, I was kind of hoping I could add to JPM. Really, really kind of missed that. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Well, let me pop back up here. Build it a buck oh five JPM to add. Man, we pushing up there. So I'm just holding my Tesla because I'm look. I'm looking at it as okay. If I wasn't in Tesla, this would be. A, this looks like a really good downside continuation. You got these put this push down and a little three bar pause, and then um, I would look for another rollover. So that's why I'm just kind of, even though it came back through that pivot, I'm still kind of holding it.
Roku kind of looks like it wants to just gradually go lower. Just bleed lower like it's <clears throat> from it uh, such a big bounce in pre-market. Oftentimes you'll see it just bleed lower throughout the day when it goes that high. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to use Marriott. This volume just isn't isn't doing it for me. Wow, look at MU pushing highs a day. Uh, speaking of NU, MU, it had a really good mighty ninety. Like you see this, see this mighty ninety set up long. That's a really good volume pop there. If you could have got in down here at the bottom, that would have been pretty awesome. So Vic's coming back down. It was a good out in NVIDIA. Just closing my last one after that down push. And need to get a couple red bars out of JPM here. I would close half my JPM at a dollar twenty, which was my original entry. And I could adjust that. JPM barely positive. What's Tesla doing? So I just I'm just in JPM and Tesla, so I'm kind of wanting to wrap things up here, take profits. I don't want to. I don't want it to eat into my profits any of these. Build it a buck twenty. Yes. JPM. Oh yeah. Patience paid off. Yeah, things are pausing a little bit. That's why we don't trade much past 930 Central Time. So give me one more red bar, JPM. You know, I love Mighty 90s that where you add to them and then they go in your favor like Goog did, and now like JPM is. I mean, it's just a beautiful thing. I, mean, I have a lot of contracts on a JPM because, again, 
it got when it, when a stock is a, a dollar something, it it's easy to have a lot of contracts if you're if you're going you know two thousand to twenty five hundred buying power, and then you add to it. I'm gonna get out of another JPM. Filled it a buck thirty. So look for two red bars at a JPM here. I don't know, man. Part of me wants to maybe just cut my Tesla, but. Uh, also, when I got out, when I say I, I'm getting out of some more JPM, so I had 20, I had uh, 20, I had 20 contracts left. And so uh, getting out of a quarter, I guess, I guess I really was getting out of a fifth. So I'm cutting more than one contract because of the price is so small. <clears throat> so I got I, I got out of four of them at a dollar thirty because I had twenty left. I'm not just gonna do one on that because then you know it, I don't think I could go down one at a time every ten percent. Yeah, NVIDIA maybe is it wanting to go through lows? Man. So J JPM came down to yesterday's low. Let's see what it does here. I don't want to sit through a bounce, even though it's a mighty 90. And I, I'm supposed to wait for two red bars. I, I've got a nice, nice green day, and I don't want to sit through any bounce with 16 contracts left. So that would be the rare time where I maybe just cut something loose. You know, if it wants to do what Goog did, I mean, by all means, I'll keep scaling out a few at a time. So Tesla, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get out of my last one. Build at 570 to close Tesla. It may fall down to this pivot. Who knows? But a lot of times you'll see stuff just starting to chop here. Okay, JPM's pushing back up a little bit, aren't it? <clears throat> well, I want to see it get through yesterday's lows. Yeah. So this is where you really got to decide, you know, do I want to sit here for maybe another 20 minutes, maybe go through a little bounce and maybe then it'll roll over. Do I want to sit through a bounce at all? And you've got a nice green day. You don't have any red trades. So looks like I'm going to continue to sit here because it's just struggling. It might give me two red bars. Okay, I'm going to get out of another quarter, which would be four contracts. At $1.45. It'll hit me. About a dollar forty four. Uh, 
43. Bill with a dollar 43. So it did come down. Yeah. I thought it might come down to that pivot, but it's a nice winner. And Goog, Goog's still pushing through lows. Unbelievable. So JPM giving us a second red bar. I got 12 contracts left. Let's just see what happens here if I leave a little bit on. Dicks up 3%. Let's just give it a sec. Oh, look at Tesla, man. Got out of it just a little too soon. Uh, so this is, a, this is a perfect, I said it earlier. So this is a great continuation runner setup. So like if you weren't in Tesla at all, like this would have been a great time to get in on this little three bar bounce. Uh, it would have been a nice, Time for me to add to it, actually. If I wouldn't have had such a good green day going on, I probably would have. Okay, JPM popping up, darn it. I'm going to close my JPM. Build it a buck 38. So, just wanted to close up there. Woo, what a ride today was, folks. Hopefully, you guys got in on some of that action so all right let's take a look live stream um today is the sixth so steve will be with you thursday friday and monday and then i'll be back next tuesday so i'll see everybody tuesday hope you uh hope you had a green day today guys let me know what you did talk to you later peace